Libra, what's, whoa, what is going on here? If you are already familiar with my channel, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, definitely welcome in to the Mother Tressa experience. We're here to embrace you with nothing but love and acceptance. So feel free to come and be your most authentic self wherever you are energetically, okay? Positive, negative, or neutral, it really doesn't matter. Come as you are, and I just pray that you leave better than you came, okay? Now, Libra, wow. What you guys have as the overlying energy, what you feel the heaviest is the Six of Wands. This is redemption here, feeling vindicated here, feeling really supported. Um, the center of attention, kind of like Leo's, like what you guys have as the cruise that hounds you is the Strength card. Um, and what's real about the situation, you have the Four of Wands, which interesting, interestingly enough was the outcome card for Virgo. So I feel like a lot of this energy it's just um, like crossing over. So definitely check that video out. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Now, what's wrong about the situation? You have the Six of Cups. Where you need more information, you have the Ace of Cups. Hmm, how much do you actually love yourself here? With the, the Six of Wands and the Strength card, now it can also be about you needing that validation from other people, right, in your external environment, um, instead of getting it from yourself, right? You don't need the approval of anybody else but yourself. Do you truly enjoy what it is that you're doing? Do you truly love what it is that you're doing, or are you just doing it just to get that reaction? Are you doing it just to follow the trend, right, with this, this Strength energy? Um, are you doing it just for the followers and the likes and the popularity that comes through with like Leo energy because they're always known to have a posse which came up in their reading. So again, check out Leo and check out Virgo, um, Virgo's reading. It, the, the message might hit a little differently just depending on where you have those placements within your own natal chart if again you're not already dealing with these people. But yeah, looking at the, the reason why you feel like you need support outside of the support that you give for yourself. Why don't you um, hype yourself up in the ways that other people hype you up? Do you not believe in your abilities here? Okay, outcome card for you guys is the nine of coins. Bottom of the deck is the five of cups. Wow, okay, we'll get to that. How far are you willing to go is what I'm hearing. That is something that you guys are going to have to answer this um, at this time I would say this week but energy is fluid it may not come immediately when you see this video but how far are you willing to go for the things that you desire on a heart level do you actually know what it is that you desire four of wands is cancer's house well the number four which has to do with the subconscious so how well do you know yourself to be able to put stock into the things that you profess or claim to want and assessing those things like is it something that I really again just desire right that I have an interest in or is this something that I actually need right something that I'm actually committed to right interest versus commitment you you act very differently depending on where you uh, where you stand once you answer that question. So if this is about a creative idea, okay, something that you know will maybe get you a lot of, again, popularity. With all of this wands energy um, and this water energy, it can be something like in the healing profession. It can be, I wanna say like with music, just because in the wands energy, you see people holding these like instruments of sorts. Right, they have something in their hand. There's like equipment, so like something with equipment evol involved. Equipment involved. So you can be a musician, um, or you can be like a photographer, or again, just something like creative. Here, if this is not just a typical nine to five, and you're doing something with like sales, or doing something with like real estate, because four is all about the home. But let's say like, the, let's go with real estate as the example. So are you actually doing it 
because that's something that you've always wanted to do since you were a child or as soon as you found interest in that you took to doing more research about it right and getting the proper certifications for it um, you just have an eye for that type of detail or an eye for interior design with the homes if it's just not uh, selling on a residential or on a um, what's the other one on a commercial level right as far as just selling like the single family homes or um, selling warehouses what have you and this is more so about like the inside of it like the interior design um, is it something that you've always felt drawn to and something that you always come back to and it's part of the reason why you are so excited to wake up in the morning or again are you just doing it because you've seen other people be successful with it and that's just a, an avenue where you can make quick money you know what I mean if this is about um, relationships are you actually in the relationships because you actually want love or do you just like the way that it feels and how it boosts your ego and the attention that you get from it right the affection that you get from it romance comes through with all the wands energy and again with the strength card if you're just interested in someone you may talk to them here and there you may go out on a date every month every three months or so you know what I mean you'll, you'll check up on them when it's convenient for you and you know that you can get something out of that exchange namely when it's something more of a romantic nature versus your commitment level you have a conversation with this person every day to some degree right be it a quick text message to let them know what's going on or that they that they were on your mind um, you you are more adamant about taking this person out um, and dating this person you know courting the person if you will um, and being very intentional about getting to know them and getting to know their family and immersing yourself um, in those areas you know what I mean you see this person like in your future foresight comes through with Leo's energy right the strength card and the Sun card so you you definitely see yourself growing with this person and you take those necessary steps to get there that's the difference between interest versus commitment so I feel like a lot of you guys are looking at that what's wrong you have the six of cups and where you need more information you have the ace of cups and where you end you have the nine of coins so I feel like some of you guys are coming to the realization that past the initial excitement okay and the emotional interest right that sensation past that there really isn't anything more for you in that space here because you have this now if this is about a relationship that you desire and it's something that you've been trying to attract in you can't because again you're having to look at that lust versus love the idealistic aspects of who you are versus the realistic practical pragmatic side of who you are and again what is required to sustain with the nine of coins yeah with this water energy you can just be lost again in the sensations of it and being like a hopeless romantic but not necessarily doing anything about that right in order to personify the feeling of love there we go and bring it into tangible space it's something that you kind of just reserve in your mind or just that you keep in your heart but you never go through with if you are already in a relationship I feel like though again you may like this person um, you know at the end of the day this person is not your soulmate um, and Libra you guys you Libras are not confrontational people okay you don't want to ever hurt anybody's feelings here and so you may tend to like play along and kind of go along just to save face with all of this energy here who well, really goes in this order you'll just play along and go along you know play along with the, the strength card Leo's energy and just kind of go along with it though you might be suffering on the inside knowing that you're just essentially stringing this person along um, it can be hard but I feel like at the end of the day you guys are developing bravery 
with the intense the intensity of dissatisfaction that you're feeling right now with mercury being retrograde in the sign of scorpio um and so it's unbearable at this point for you to be able to self-sacrifice any longer when it comes to love right and and who you want to have that space and and how you are honoring again your own sense of love for yourself and so i feel like you're going to develop that bravery to be like hey look this has been nice um and i you know i don't want to hurt your feelings but i just don't feel like we are compatible you know what i mean i'm and and, and affording those apologies if necessary like i'm sorry for stringing you along as long as i have but i have to admit that i i'm physically attracted to you you know and you seem to be like a good person but you're not my person you know, at the end of the day, I hope that we can be friends. If not, um, at least I hope that we can be cordial. But I can't, I can't afford to forsake what is for me just to keep a smile on your face or just to appease those in my external environment, you know, just to make my friends and family happy. Some of you guys are looking at that and the societal pressures that come with love and that come with maybe having a family is that something that you actually really want right was that something that you ever wanted if you already have this child that you're raising here or did you just kind of do it because that was like again societally it was normal to do right that's what everybody's supposed to do if you will that's what i'm hearing like everybody's supposed to find the love of their life and get married and have kids in no particular order also don't worry about being conventional and traditional if that's not you um things don't have to happen in a particular order um do what works for you and your partner if you're already in a committed relationship and nothing's going wrong um but you're just you're you're working your way to that altar or working your way to whatever next phase it is that's happening for you guys um it doesn't have to happen perfectly right aside from how you see it, you know, and what is comfortable for you. And again, your your person that you're involved with. But for some of you guys, it's just like, it, I, I just did it because I felt like this was something that I was supposed to do. And I never gave myself enough time on my own to really grow up, you know, to really do the things that I enjoyed here. So some of you guys are looking at that if people are trying to pressure you like your parents are trying to pressure you to go ahead and find a wife or a husband and get married but you know that there's so much more to life than that um and all that you know that you will have to sacrifice to have that then don't be afraid to like live in that truth now is not the right time it'll happen when it's supposed to but right now you want to travel the world you know what i'm saying you want to go back to school you know what I mean? Like you, you're you're fine with where you are with your career and your business and how that is growing and that fulfills you right now. You know what I mean? So this is all about honoring your truth, honoring your heart space here. And stop doing things for the again, the validation of other people, because that's not gonna do anything but keep you trapped. And then you live a life of suffering in that woulda coulda shoulda mentality here. Same with relationships. You can feel that chemistry, but chemistry is not enough. Looks is not enough, Libra, right? It's like, it, it's not enough. Again, how far are you willing to go? How long can you, can you put on this act for other people before you decide, you know what? Like, I can't be anything other than who I am because it's forced, right? It's fake. And you don't want to do that anymore. So that's what I see coming through for you guys, okay? If this reading resonated, give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and family. Subscribe if you haven't. And book with me should you need it. But if I don't hear from you uh, on either platform, then do just take care of yourself and your soul until you hear from me again, okay? Ciao.